what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're curious and if you like to see how i got these beautiful bouncy curls stay tuned and keep watching and i'll take you through the exact steps so my hair is straightened i got it straightened for my graduation if you want to see me graduate i'll have that linked in my description box i wasn't ready to completely say goodbye to straight hair yet so i wanted to try a style on stretched hair but as you can see like my edges and my kitchen were already starting to revert back so i was like let me get started on this i'm using eco styler gel with the red top which has the argon oil and i'm also coming through with my good old faithful the chamomile rose almond jade twist and butter and i'm using the gray and purple flexi rods I'm only using a little bit of both products because I did not want to fully saturate my hair and create like a long drying time. So first I'm coming through with the twisting butter and then the eco styler gel and then detangling my hair with my Demon brush. This was my first time ever doing flexi rods, so there is a lot of fails in this. It took a little bit of trial and error, but once I got it started and I got the hang of it, it went by really smooth. So this really took me out because I'm just, you know, doing my little one-two and this rod is just sliding out of my hair and it falls completely out. Again, practice makes perfect. Every video that I've watched just like made these rods look so simple and it clearly was not that. But I kept going and you'll just see how it turns out. I'm getting real fancy right here and getting a little beside myself but this is called the horseshoe method and basically what it is is you take one flexi rod and bend it in half and then you take two sections of your hair and you wrap each section around each of the one sides of the flexi rod now this can be done if you don't have a lot of flexi rods or if you um, like don't want a lot of flexi rods in your hair i didn't do this throughout the entire um like all of my head i only did this on a couple sections to kind of test it out but i will say i can see how this would be helpful if you didn't want like all these rods poking you in your brains so yeah that's what i did there I picked up this little tip from one of my favorite YouTubers, Hazel Goddess. Shout out to Celia. But I'm just using a little bit of the extra product around the ends of my hair. And this is going to make sure that my hair sticks to the rod and that my ends are nice and secure. And this is also going to prevent frizz.
at this point in the styling i'm a pro flexi rider i'm rolling it securing it flipping it <laughs> everything with ease practice makes perfect after the first couple flexi rides i kind of got the hang of it and i was just flying through these sections A quick little tip that I want to give you guys is if you are doing this on dry, straight and stretched hair like I am, you might want to move quickly when applying it to the rod um, or your hair will try to revert back to its curly state like mine did. It's not going to give you like the same outcome um, if it becomes like a wet rod set. So if your hair is dry and straightened or stretched, move fast or your hair won't let you be great. Now, I know we have all been here before, so I'm curious. Leave me some comments below and let me know what you think my prayer was to the curl gods. So this took way longer than I expected to dry and I don't have a hooded dryer. So your girl got creative here to dry my hair. Don't judge me. You gotta, you know, use what you got. The takedown is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just opening up these rods and unraveling these beautiful curls. Ugh, I feel so bad that I was talking so much shit on my Instagram and Twitter. Like, I really was doubting this. But, I mean, come on. Y'all see it? Them curls is popping. And we ain't even done yet. major key right here make sure you are always using some type of lightweight oil before you start the takedown process and here I'm just separating my hair where it's naturally kind of opening and separating and twirling those curls around my fingers just to enforce that pretty curl pattern and oh my god y'all I am already in love like looking at this footage just has me in awe because this came out so freaking amazing Wow, like wow, do you see it? 
do you see this for this to be my first time doing these flexi rods i am so freaking pleased this is beautiful it's amazing like what <laughs> i'm lost for words you know the drill if you like this video give me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed share this with your friends give me some comments and thank you for watching